AI is revolutionizing the business world. Things that could never be automated before are now able to be automated. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can automate the resume screening and interview process. And this is not a total replacement for the traditional resume screening and interview process, but this is a great enhancement and a wonderful tool to have in your back pocket no matter who you are. So stick around, we're gonna get into it right now. As always, let's just jump right in with a demo. But before we show you the demo, it's always nice to just know what's gonna happen. So we're using a type form trigger to start our agent. And the type form trigger is going to be triggered once a particular form is submitted. Then it's going to flow to the ranking agent. And then it's gonna use another agent, which is just gonna double check the ranking agent. We'll do a conversion. We're going to sort the candidate depending on the rating that the agent gives it. If it's unsuccessful, we'll send the candidate an email saying that it was unsuccessful. And if it's successful, we're going to add them to a short list and then invite them to book a Calendly appointment. So let's fire that off right now and we'll hop over to Typeform so that we can trigger this workflow. All right, so here we are in Typeform. I'm just going to run through and fill out this form. And the goal is going to be to generate and potential candidate that is going to be a good fit for the job. So I'm going to run through this, put it in type form, and then we'll show you what is going into the AI once it runs through. So we are back in N8N and the flow ran through correctly. So let's just go through step by step for the first agent, or which is our screening agent here, and just show you exactly what, what happened under the hood of this workflow. So you can see here, here are the inputs that I took the time to put in. So again, we want someone who is going to be a good fit for this job. These are the, this is what the assistant was asked to do. We can go into that more later, but this is the output we got. So they said, Joe Smith, we'd rate them a four out of five. They go into a little more detail, which is what we asked it to do. And if we move on to the next node, what this node is going to do is essentially distill this information down to one number. So we have a prompt and we just want it to pull out the number rating that it was given because we want to be able to read this as well and see, okay, you know, what is the, what does the AI think about this candidate? Why, why might he be a good fit or not be a good fit? And so then this is going to distill it down to one number. We're going to convert that number to a string from, sorry, from a string to a number so that then we can use an if node and the if node is going to if uh, allow us to separate a good candidate from a bad candidate. And so if we go back out to the canvas here, we'll see if we have a good candidate, a candidate that receives greater than a four on a scale of one to five from the AI, it's going to filter up into the true, which is what happened. And if we have a bad candidate, it's gonna filter down to the false. And so you can see the false candidate here would get sent an email that says, hey, thanks so much for your application. And it would have their name, but we're not interested in you at this time or something to that effect. And then this Google Sheet here is, we'll show you what got added. This is the interview shortlist Google Sheet. So you can see here, here is the person that just got put in. Those are their credentials. What's their name? These are all, this came from type form. These are the different categories. And after mapping these type form responses to the Google sheet, then it's going to send a Calendly interview booking to the interview candidate. So based off of the email that they got, they're going to get a, an email uh, an, an email opportunity to um, interview. So let's hop over into, we'll just go into the Calendly so you can see how that works. And so you can see here that this is the link that gets emailed to the candidate and it has the Calendly invite link. So if we hop over to Calendly now, we will see that this candidate has an opportunity to book an interview slot. 
and then this will pass the the task off to our next AI agent. So let's hop back into any data and just look at the next AI agent before we come and book this Calendly meeting. And so this is our next agent. And we put the, the word agent in quotes here because this really isn't an agent. It's not making a decision for us, but this is all a part of the same agent, the same agentic workflow that we're using. So we're calling it an agent. It's kind of part two of the agent. And what this is going to do is it is going to be triggered on the creation of a calendar event and it's going to send a reminder an interview reminder so here is our next agent and we have the word agent in quotes here because this is a part of a broader agent but this node itself is not agentic in nature because it doesn't involve the making of a decision on our behalf it's really just an automation but this is a part of our broader agent and what's going to happen here is when that calendly event is created it is going to send a reminder email to the client so we're going to go and create the calendly event and we'll come in here and we will see that this workflow will have fired and not the not the client but rather the candidate the job candidate will have received that email so we'll hop in calendly and go create create that event right now so we can see here that the email was sent and the event was generated in the google calendar and so then we can move on to the last piece of the agentic workflow here which is the actual interview call so this is going to use a system an ai voice system called bland ai and there's a number of these systems that are available bland is a solid one um, there's also vp and, and a number of others but the way that this is going to work is once the interview time which is set on the calendar begins that will trigger this workflow and then the number that is listed in this node will be called by the ai agent and the AI agent will conduct the interview. And so we'll start, we're gonna move up the calendar event from when I scheduled it to in a minute or two so that it'll fire. And then you can see how the AI voice agent speaks. And the AI voice agent isn't calibrated very tightly, but you'll still see it's, it's a pretty solid interview. This is what the flow looks like in bland. And we'll see in a minute, the agent's gonna call and we'll have a discussion with the agent. And we'll see, we're going to just move it along kind of quickly, but we will see that the agent is capable of having a conversation and it sounds like a real interview conversation. And then this data can later be stored and used and either looked through by a human operator or even looked at with AI and further assessed to see if this candidate is a strong candidate. You can see here the call is coming in, so let's accept it and we'll start the interview. Could I get your full name and date of birth? Yeah, my name's John Smith. So uh, can you tell me a bit about your background? Yeah, so i um, an engineer by study, but I've been in sales for a number of years now, and I just really love it. I've got a lot of experience. I feel like I'd be a great fit for your company. What would you say are your biggest strengths? I think my biggest strength is probably just my ability to relate to other people and really understand their problems in a really meaningful and non-superficial way and then to solve those problems for them that's what i would say and uh what areas are you looking to improve i think i'm looking to improve in my technical abilities and really kind of digging more into technology to try to understand how i can use that to leverage the sales abilities and relational capacities there that i already have so uh what are your career goals moving forward yeah, I would say I have my eye on a head of sales position uh, at some company. Um, I'm very ambitious and I'm really just a self-starter. So I feel like that's something I can definitely do. What made you interested in this role? I saw a posting about it and I have a few friends that work in the industry with you all and they just speak so highly of your company. So I feel like there's an opportunity for growth here, as you mentioned in your job posting. And I'm also just excited to work about a work at a company that I feel is doing something that I'm excited about and can relate to. Do you have any questions for me? No, I don't.
All right, thanks for chatting with me. Have a great rest of your day. So there you go. That was the phone interview, and you can see it's it's pretty good. Uh, there are a number, if you've, if you've tested this more thoroughly, you'd see there's a number of kind of edge cases that this cannot handle. And if you've ever used one of these flow uh, systems, you can see that this is a very basic flow. There aren't any really, it's not really handling any errors or any anticipated questions, but that can easily be built in. And this can really be made more complex and, um, and more robust. But you can see even that was a pretty solid interview, very fast, obviously, but just amazing what this technology can do and that you can really automate the entire interview process if you want to and get a reasonably and expectably good result from it. it is the demo for you all. You can see it's a powerful tool. This can easily be set up uh, by you or by one of your employees if you're a business owner or if you're a freelancer, you can definitely set these up. Uh, that won't be too much trouble at all as long as you have some experience in N8N. And this is really something that can sell. This is something that business owners ought to be interested in. And it's something that freelancers and agency owners really need to be interested in so that they can sell it to business owners because this can save a lot of time, a lot of resources, and a lot of energy. Is it a perfect system? No, but no system's perfect, even with human operators doing human led interviews, which is what we've done since the beginning of time because this hasn't been an option, but this is a viable option. It is in every business's interest to explore this and also to figure out which pieces of this they can use for their businesses in order to save precious resources. And so if there is interest in seeing a full walkthrough on how to build this, make sure you leave a comment and then absolutely subscribe and like to the channel. That tells me and tells us that we're building content that people are interested in and that we should continue. But also if you'd like to see this built out, uh, definitely make sure to drop a comment below and just let us know so that we can carve out the time to do this. We are busy with clients and that is the top priority, but generating good and helpful content for for you all is also a, a top priority for us. So, so have an awesome day and definitely let us know in the comments below if this is something you'd be interested in seeing a full walkthrough of. And also make sure to head on over to our school community to grab the free template for this particular workflow. And you can join our community too. There's a number of other resources that are available for you and you can check out the community page and explore that as well. All right, so we're signing off and we'll see you in the next one.